small businesses mean to the community. Our local businesses are what help to make our community unique and special. We appreciate that you are part of the Neighbors Helping Neighbors fundraiser, and we would like to give you a chance to say hello to the community. So I'll let you introduce yourself, I'll learn a little bit about what you do in Norfolk and your involvement in the Neighbors Helping Neighbors fundraising efforts. All right, thank you, Mia. Um, I've lived in Norfolk since the early 90s. I am a member of the Norfolk Lions, which everybody um, knows a great organization here in town. I'm on the NCTV board. I have taught confirmation classes at St. Jude for the last 12 years. I'm on the Grange board and I, um, in my real life, I own two sober homes for women in North Attleboro and I'm a holistic health coach. So can you tell us more about your story and how you first got interested in Jonathan Bird's shark tooth diving missions? Um, sure, I, I met Jonathan Bird in the 80s. I was the program director for the New England Aquarium Dive Club. I did that for probably 16 or 17 years. And uh, part of my job was to bring in presentations and speakers to the aquarium on a monthly basis. And I also ran some trips and um, helped with some strandings and things like that. I met um, Jonathan in the early 80s, I'm sorry, middle 80s. We immediately hit it off, um, started to do a lot of things together. He was a great, um, amazing speaker and photographer. And then he basically kind of developed into Jonathan the Blue World, which right now it's all over the world. So we, um, we did a lot of traveling together. I was lucky enough to be on quite a few of his uh, trips. I worked with him in Fiji, uh, the Galapagos, Dominica, um, Midway. So I, I've been very lucky to have his friendship and to do quite a bit of traveling with him as well. Uh, the way the Megalodon shock teeth came about was in the diving world, you used, I used to hear quite a bit about these Megalodon shock teeth. Everyone in the, in the diving world knew about Venice, Florida as being the shock tooth capital of the world. But a few of the real knowledgeable divers kept mentioning this location in the Carolinas, some of these rivers in South Carolina to be exact, the Cooper River. So about four years ago, I went out on Facebook, did some investigating, became very friendly with the gentleman down there that had an operation. And I went down there with uh, my wife and son. We did an exploratory weekend and I came away addicted to megalodon shock hunting. So we um, scheduled, I went back, came back, met with Jonathan. So we planned the trip, went down there in October. I had um, done several dives down there, went down there and um, spent the weekend doing some filming, some uh, megalodon shot tooth hunting and fossil hunting. Uh, came away with some really beautiful prizes. Um, what everyone is looking for. So we found this great location. I've been back several times since. And what I've done is I've turned it into an educational type of uh, presentation for some children. At some of the local events, I set up a booth and we do some shock. I let the kids go through and find their own shock teeth and each of the kids can hold and keep one. So if you look at the display, um, what I've created was you have a basket that as a, it's a replica of what the Cooper River was like, the Cooper River in South Carolina. And I'm hoping you'll watch the video that is accompanying this. It'll explain a lot of the um, information about the Megalodon shock teeth and hunting it and finding them. So what this is, is it's a basket. It's depicting the Cooper River. The top of the basket comes off and below it is what was actually like diving in the Cooper River. The only difference is, when you're diving in the Cooper River, there's no visibility at all. It's got an incredibly strong currents and you've got alligators on the shore that keep you company once in a while. So it's a interesting dive, but when, you, when you're down there and you find some of these teeth, it just kind of makes it all worthwhile. So I put this basket together along with a um, Blue World season, DVD set. Um, it's not the one that's in the picture, but it'll be one like that that will be signed to whomever wins the basket by Jonathan Bird. Uh, there's another black and white book 
that shows a lot of the trips that we've been on together and some of Jonathan's great show, shots. And then we also see the um, 12 or 13 items that are in the basket that will be hidden in the gravel. So whomever, these are the items here. So you get several shark teeth. Uh, there's, there'll be some brochures that will explain what each of these are. Uh, we've got an alligator, fossilized alligator tooth. We have some dinosaur poop. We've got a vertebrae, shark vertebrae, and these are all fossil. So these megalodon teeth, uh, the one that's here, the biggest one is a little over three inches. And these are five to 15 million years old. So it's kind of an educational basket. Hopefully we'll get somebody excited enough that they continue trying to do work with fossils. So when you lift the cover off of this basket, you have what is the gravel bed. Um, this is what we would be diving on when we we're in the bottom of the Cooper River. The only thing that's missing is there's better visibility here. We're diving with zero visibility and the strongest currents that I've ever dove in my life with. Um, and then hidden in the gravel will be the fossils that we're mixing in. Uh, do you have a funny story to share about one of the diving missions you went on? Um, well, if I go back to this Cooper River, I was telling everyone about the strong currents and I don't know if it's a funny story or not, but when I first did my very first dive, there was a solo dive. My friend was up in the boat um, to struggle to get to the bottom, even though it was only 40, 45 feet deep. When you're in a really strong current, that anchor line is very long. So you, you pull yourself down to the bottom. You have a large screwdriver that you shove into the bottom so that you don't get swept away. And, and when I first got down there, I just thought to myself, this is crazy. There's no way we could ever do this. Um, the current's way too strong. I'm going to finish up this dive and then call it quits. About two or three minutes later, I found my very first tooth. And then all of a sudden, 45 to 50 minutes later, I had a small bag full of teeth. And I was just thinking to myself, wow, this is very relaxing. I was accustomed to it. And at that point, I was addicted. So my funny story comes about when we were down there with Jonathan, he brought down his, you know, $15,000, $16,000 camera systems. And after the very first time he was in the water, we ended up diving with a little GoPro because there was no way to hold and work with large camera systems, which it's in his video and you'll see. It was kind of a very, you have this very professional camera, underwater cameraman, producer working with a tiny GoPro. So it was, turned out to be a great trip, great experience. And I'm hoping that I can share this with someone who wins this basket. Oh yeah, that's really cool. Uh, are there any final me uh, messages you'd like to send out to the community? Uh, just that this week, we're actually raising funds this week to bring in a service dog to Norfolk. Um, I know that people have seen it and I'm actually working on a couple of other little videos we're gonna really promote to bring this dog into Norfolk, and I'm hoping that we get some people to buy some raffle tickets and we have a very successful week. Awesome. Thank you so much. I'm Mia Valencia, and thank you for tuning in.